Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to part six in the creating a linked list project in C++. So we just finished the delete node function and we're just gonna do one last function. This one will be pretty simple. This is basically the print function. It's just going to print out our list. So it doesn't have anything to return. So it's going to have a return type of void and uh, it's coming from the list class once again and it's just called print list and uh, so now we've got our print list function here we're gonna do our curly braces whoops I don't know what happened there there we go and uh, so we just are going to define this now and tell it what to do when we call the print list function so basically what we're gonna do is we're going to take our cur pointer so the current pointer and we're going to make it point to whatever node ahead is pointing to so it's going to make it point to the front of the list and then we're just going to do a while loop and uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to say as long as the as long as cur is not equal to null that means it's pointing somewhere in the list we're just going to simply print out the contents of the node that current is pointing to and uh, basically the way we're going to do that is we are going to do a C out statement and we're going to C out cur arrow data so it's just going to output the data in the node that the current pointer is pointing to and once we do that we're just going to advance the cur pointer so cur is equal to cur next and then basically as long as that's not the last node which is checked right here as long as this isn't the last node, it'll print out the next node and keep on going until we printed the entire list. And I should probably include an end line here to make it look nice. So there we go, there's our end line. And uh, that's basically it. That's our print function. It's just going to print uh, one bit of data per line. And uh, yeah, so that's really all there is to the print list function there. And uh, so next tutorial, I'm going to, part six of this tutorial, I'm going to um, go back to the main.cpp file and we're going to test all of our functions and make sure that everything works correctly. So thanks for watching, have a good one, and uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.